Hey guys, what's going on? So, I'm gonna try to turn this camera sideways, and uh, maybe my videos won't be up and down. Um, we're on a new project today, something new I've never done before, and uh, I probably should wait until I have a few of them down, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about them. So, uh, this job right here, we're doing uh, mini split cassettes, and I've never done these before. Uh, with, with the Fujitsu so it's been a little bit of a learning experience and we got three of them in this little place I didn't know that the um, thermostats were going to be wired I thought they were going to be remote control so I didn't put that into the bid and then um, I thought that you would be able to just put the cassette up there and screw into the wood that you frame it in and uh, you'd be good but the instructions say you're supposed to use all thread and um, hang it from the rafters um, and I didn't put that into the bid for sure either so you know I looked at them and essentially I I didn't do that what I ended up doing was um, slid them up in between the joists and then I used a piece of L bracket mounted it to the top of the uh, two by four and then uh, screwed it into the side of the unit far enough away from the evaporator coil uh, that it was safe so i'll show you guys what we got here uh, this unit here is in the front room and um, these things are serious pain in the butt to try to get them to where uh, your gap where you got no gap uh, but they really suck. That's probably why you got it. You're supposed to use all thread because then you could, you know, tighten them up or loosen them as needed. And there's one here. I would have liked to have went over there. I think it would have looked better. But over there, my joists in the attic were diving like this, the V that you run into sometimes. And being that this was the first one, I I wasn't sure how well they would fit in there. And they're still a pain in the ass because... Fujitsu actually makes them um, to where this is my thermostat wire is going to dive through my fish tape. Got stuck inside there. Opened up the hole bigger than I want. But in any event, yeah, so Fujitsu, um, they make these things so that they fit right in between the rafters, but they make them 22 and a half inches. And so. I mean, you're squeezing the crap out of it to try to get it in between the rafters. Uh, I literally was thinking about just cutting a piece of two by four a little bit bigger than that and jamming it in there to spread the rafters just a little bit. But I was kind of worried that the sheetrock nails might um, put cracks in the ceiling. But it's so tight, it's, I mean, they could have just went with a 22 and a quarter. So you could slip that thing in and out of there nice and easy. Um, they're pain in the butt. Uh, so anyways, on this this one, we're doing a three-ton unit here. And it's just going to dive up there. Go there. And then the drain line's going to pop. One's going to pop out the side. Two's going to pop out the back. Um, pretty straightforward. Just, uh, you know, a few things that I wasn't expecting. We're on the track coming down. And we might, I don't know, I'm going to talk to the homeowner and see... We might be able to rob uh, this and put our disconnect right there because that's ran all the way down to the disconnect box. I mean to the electrical box which is down there. And I'll show you guys a, uh, a tool that I've been using on these mini splits. The spin kits. You know I have got like four other ones that I've used where you put them in and you flare them and... Um, and I always end up with leaks and I picked up the spin kit and I've used it on about five jobs now and they I get great I get great joints I haven't had any leaks you know um, so I I really I really like that kit you know a lot of guys I see a lot of guys on YouTube that do these tool reviews where uh, the manufacturer sends the tool to them and then they play with it at their house and then they do a, a review on it and I'm not too into those kind of reviews they don't really tell me much about the equipment and 
you know, I wonder what would happen if um, the manufacturer sent them a piece of shit tool and then they reviewed it as a piece of shit tool. Would the manufacturer send them any more tools? So it begs the question of how biased are these reviews? So, you know, anybody that's reviewing tools that they actually use in the field, I could certainly appreciate that. But if you're not using the tool in the field, then, uh, you know, it's not much of a review to, in my eyes. So uh, I just wanted to give a shout out on those spin kits. And this job here, we also, um, so what happened here was we, we, we had bid the job to do a package unit on the roof and a gas electric and then a mini split downstairs because of the way this home's designed, I couldn't get airflow to the downstairs. So um, we came and we put a mini split downstairs and then uh, a couple days later they called me and said, hey, we, we don't want a package unit on the roof, we want mini splits upstairs. And so that's when I looked into um, the cassettes because I couldn't do the wall mounts, but the downstairs one is a wall mount. So this is what we did the first job. Uh, we just tied into, so there's the box. We just tied in the box and came over and just set the unit right here. And so this house really sucks because this is basically when it rains, the water comes down and you could see that there's actually a drain right there. And you could see that my pad, there's a little gap underneath my pad where the water's actually going to run underneath it. But I didn't want to put it here because this is a carport. And then if you go around here to the back side, this is a huge drainage. I mean, they got big time water comes all through here, this whole area right here. And then in the back of the house, see, I was gonna run gas for the uh, gas electric packaging on the roof. And I was still having, gonna have a problem there. I was gonna have to bring it all the way up on the other side of that water, sewage, uh, everything else that's tied in right there and bring it up and I was gonna try to dive it up right there with the gas line up to the roof because I didn't have any other options. And then in the back, you can see it's concrete drain line. It's all drain. So the only other thing I could have done was hung it on the wall but that wasn't in the budget. So this is what we ended up with. <clears throat> Maybe I'll grab some video whenever it's done or snap some pictures. <clears throat> I thought I'd bring you guys along for this one. Thanks for watching.